Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna go over a quick upgrade to the F-Sport front end grill that I should have done back when I originally did this upgrade, but uh, the part was kind of expensive at the time for the OEM part, so I didn't feel like paying for it at the time, so. So any of you guys with the F-Sport front bumper or the conversion uh, for the 2IS, if you ordered it on eBay or wherever, you probably got a black grill. Uh, I had swapped this grill out for an OEM style grill. It's an aftermarket OEM grill. I've got the links in the description if you have this bumper and you want to upgrade it. I liked it better, especially since my car was black. And um, you know, this one goes, uh, you know, the contrast is much better than the gloss black one that comes with the, the eBay front bumper, conversion bumper. I think I paid, um, might have been like 60 for the lower and then 40 or 50 for the upper, but it was like a hundred dollars total, around a hundred something dollars. I reused the chrome trim because it was a, the chrome trim was the same, so I just reused that from that came with the bumper already. That's another like 40 dollar part if you actually need that one. I didn't do was these little blanks right here, so this bumper or even the, the eBay one, it doesn't come with that. Um, that hole right there so uh, I've kind of left it blank some others I've seen on Club Lexus and whatever they put like a fog light or some little light in there or lens um, I, I tried to do that at first but it didn't fit and then plus it would be way too many different lights on the front end so I ended up quitting on that uh, that little mod what that hole is really for is uh, it's for your parking sensors so um, on the 3IS I think they have a parking sensor here and then one in the corner of the bumpers if you have the front end, uh, the parking uh, sensors on it. On the 2IS, you only get the ones under the headlight. You don't get the center one, but you can relocate it here if your bumper does have it. Um, that uh, that sensor you can actually find on AliExpress. It's a, I think I saw it last month, one of the other members or one of the other viewers of the channel pointed out to me that um, <laughs> that's what he was doing because he had parking assist on his bumper but um it uh, it's uh, like a five dollar part on aliexpress for two of them i think it's just for the sensor you still need to get the oem clip or some kind of the clip that kind of fits it into the hole and, and and finish off the trim but uh with with this particular bumper though uh with the you know the way we trim the that air duct and get everything to fit. I don't think that sensor will fit back there because there's not much room back here um, for that sensor. And it, the sensor is kind of bulky, like, but yeah, it definitely wouldn't fit back there with that duct in the way. So you'd have to mod that, modify that to kind of fit. But overall, uh, you know, I never upgraded it because uh, the OEM part was like 25 or 30 bucks each. Someone was talking about $45. I don't think it was $45, but it was, rather um pricey for a little plastic cap that was kind of color matched to this grill um if you have the the gloss black one from ebay you'd have to spray paint it black or get it painted black or something a really shiny gloss black for it to match that grill and another reason why i went with this grill is if you get that ebay grill it's actually got the jdm holes uh pre-punched out in it so it's, it's for the wide uh plate you know, if you're over in Europe or in Japan or one of these countries where you have to have a front plate, it doesn't really matter. I'm in Florida and um, we don't have front plates. So that was really ugly to have those holes. So that's another one of the reasons why I didn't do the that grill. So I recently was on eBay and I've been watching these parts. So I found it. Uh, so here's the part number. It's an aftermarket version. It's made in Taiwan. I think the grill is also made in Taiwan. But, um, so this is the part number for it. So I found a left and a right, and it was going for $10.95, or maybe $10.30. I ended up, I ordered it for a little bit more, but then the seller re refunded me a dollar each for them. I just kind of got them in the mail. Um, pretty simple, it's just a plug-in um, type plug, and it'll finish off this front bumper. So these things, um, it's also mentioned, uh, I did see this, uh, they had these on also Rock Auto and some other places online, and they were 
pretty expensive too. They were almost the price of the OEM one. That's why when I saw these for ten ninety five, I had to hop on it because uh, it was uh, much cheaper than even some of the other sites. And uh, it has the left and the right on it. So this is oh, so that's the left one. So the left one must be over here. It's right in. Um, it is kind of new, so it's it's much glossier than than my my grill on there already. Use my right hand this time. Oh, there we go. Snaps right in once you get it. But yep, there it is installed. Finally plugged it up. It took only uh, almost two years for me to get this part. That finishes off the Look at the bumper. Uh, no more holes and no more blanks on it. Anyways, guys, uh, if you guys want to see more videos on this bumper, I've got quite a few videos. I think, well, actually not quite a few. I just got the original review bumper, and then I think I want one where I take it off, made some adjustments to it, and then I've got the one where I fixed this front lip because it cracked on me a couple months back. Anyways, if you guys want to take a uh, peek at those, I'll have a link on to those and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys.